Hi, and welcome to part two of Advanced Avaya Breeze Techniques. My name is Andrew Prokop, and I work at Aerosystems Integration as a communications consultant and techno geek. Today, I want to talk about Breeze connectors and how they were used to augment the built-in functionality of the Breeze platform. I will then show you a concrete example using the SMS text connector from WebText. I will begin by showing you the Breeze API definition. Since my previous videos have dealt exclusively with Engagement Designer, you have been shielded from the low-level Java aspects of Breeze. However, in order to understand connectors, you need to at least be aware of this underlying set of APIs. These APIs are what engagement designer drag and drop tasks are built on. As an ED developer, you fill in parameters and input values, but in order for those tasks to actually do anything, they must use these APIs. For instance, if I open up the call object, you will see the functionality encapsulated in ED tasks such as drop and allow call. So here we see drop, and here we see allow call. I can do the same for media. Let's open up media service. And we see things like play, prompt and collect, send digits, the functions that we've used in our tasks such as play and collect and play announcement. Call and media processing are both performed by Avaya components. Call processing is provided by communication manager, and media processing is the job of the Avaya media server. However, there is functionality that Avaya has essentially offshored to third parties. For instance, the ability to send SMS text messages is exposed by both the Java API and Engagement Designer. But the work required to do the actual sending is handed off to a third party. To fit themselves into Breeze, third parties write a special kind of snap-in called a connector. A connector is invoked by the appropriate APIs to do the actual work defined by those function calls. For SMS, there are two third-party providers, Clickatel and WebText. Both are cloud services that are invoked when a Breeze snap-in attempts to send an SMS text. As a Breeze developer, you don't need to know that. Java programmers code to the API, and engagement designer developers use the send SMS task. However, Breeze administrators need to be aware of the connector and it's not a bad idea for everyone else to know of them, too. Connectors are found where you find every other Breeze snap-in, under the Breeze Service Management section in System Manager. I mentioned before that Breeze supports two connectors for SMS text. In my lab, I have chosen to use the one by WebText, which happens to be called Web Text Connector. So let's find that. So I'm under Service Management. These are all the loaded snap-ins. They're alphabetically ordered, so if I go towards the end, then I can find Web Text Connector. To see the configuration values for Web Text Connector, you go to Configuration, Attributes. Under Service Globals, I will find the Web Text Connector. And these are the values that the connector uses when it communicates with the web text cloud service. So API ID and API password, this is my account with web text. And then the web text service URL, this is where the connector will send any of the commands that it needs to, to, to perform its function, such as, you know, to send a text message, it will send it to this service URL. In future videos, I plan on addressing the debug tools that you can use on your snap-ins, and I will readdress connectors and more specifically, the Breeze connector bus. Until then, this should be enough to supply you with the most important information about connectors. With that, I will put an end to this video. For more fun and games, be sure to subscribe to the Aero Systems Integration YouTube channel. Bye for now.